Hey guys, what's happening? So this just showed up, and if you're not familiar with what this thing is, it's a crypto hardware wallet. And um, I've actually looked at some other ones too. They're actually way more fancy than this one, <clears throat> but they weren't really widely supported by a lot of these uh, wallet manufacturers. Uh, mainly, you know, I want to use this with Exodus, and uh, there it is. But uh, this is not going to be a really in-depth review. Um, I'm just I'm going to make a custom desk stand for this thing, so I need to get the dimensions off here. You know, my design Fusion 360, and I want to be able to click this into like a um, like a, like a stand and have it on my desk. And then I also want to have it plugged into my charging port, so it's going to fit into a, <clears throat> a USB-C charging port. So yeah, that's a cool little mag thing in there. But uh, yeah, this was 160 bucks, 64 on uh, Amazon. Uh, like I was saying, there actually was way more fancy actually walls for less, ex you know, less money. But they're not they're not as widely accepted as this Trezor. So uh, mainly, I wanted to use this with my Exodus wallet, and it directly supports it. So yeah, I was watching some videos on people getting their uh, Exodus wallets, their software wallets hacked, and uh, yeah, it made me a little nervous. So. Uh, right now, I'm currently putting my money on an uh, exchange, Binance.us, and I had a transaction that just disappeared. And it's been 11 days, and they can't tell me, like, what ha happened to the ETH transaction. So, yeah, that makes me nervous. So, um, yeah, I don't want to store with them anymore because it's, who knows, you know, they, I don't get my money when I send it to them. Even though the transaction with e uh, ETH scan actually went through perfectly, so. <sighs> yeah, another $160 into this thing, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna make that desk in and be back. All right, there we go. First print coming out. I'll see how it looks. This is actually a printer bot that I've had for a long, long time. It was actually my first printer, but I mean it's heavily upgraded, modified, run a 32-bit board, and uh, yeah, Marlin 2.0, but and you know obviously the Bond Tech and E3D hot end, but um, that's my other one right there. But for a small prints, it's a little small printer kicks ass so I hope you can hear me here I'm putting on both printers so it's extra loud but when I designed this thing I designed it to print with no support so you'll see it coming out here in a second what it's going to look like but uh, yeah when I first you know for the first two and a half years of 3D printing uh, before I knew how to 3D model I mean all I did was I spent all of my time learning the mechanics of 3D printing the the firmware so that definitely helped you know before before I started designing models knowing how 3d printers operated you know supports angles that kind of stuff Good. all right so finally got them printing yeah all one piece all right get it off there we'll uh see if it fits all right so I'm finally done with this thing you know when you're prototyping you don't always get in the first shot so this is how I actually got the kind of sort of the dimensions right. It's still too tight there. And then this was my first shot, but it was too tight here when going down. And this is the final product. Are you gonna see that? Yeah, and it's contoured inside. I don't know if you can see that. Here's my flashlight, but there's it's triangular to fit and guide this in to the spot. And then there is a hole here for the USB charger and then that the reason why I have the two legs is so the USB cable can go through it to the back but the standard plug that came with the uh, should just fit right in there Give me my flashlight all right so that is the USB now you can kind of see the contour hopefully in there see the contour in the USB all right and then I also have two holes here and that's for a set screw because I couldn't, I don't know, I mean, there's so many different kinds of cables. I mean, I'm not going to use this one because it's not long enough to get to my USB port in the back of my computer, but um, it wasn't really, the size, I mean, they think about also like a bunch of different USB things, but see the different lengths? That's actually why I did the set screw instead of actually making like a permanent lock in there so you could use different cables. Um, they are very similar here, so I might have to use my file to get this one in there. It's a little bit tight, but it, it does go. I might get my little round file in there just to shave off just a little bit um, yeah obviously I'll need to get these ones to here the uh, the rounded ones here not the you can't get square ones in there 
I'll put a link where you can get the actual cable that will work with this. But, uh, alright, we'll get in there. I'll show you what's up. So open this one up just a little bit for this bigger cable. I'm just using a little round file. Kind of hit it a couple times here, but just using a round file. You know, on there. All I have to do is shave off just a little bit. So I'm trying to wiggle this plug in here. Like I said, the factory one that comes with it will go right in there without a problem, but like I said, I want to use this longer cable, so. But as you can go, it's kind of, I might put some lube on there to get it up there. But, uh, yeah, well, I want it as tight as possible, so. Alright, All right, USB cable is in. Yeah, actually, one of the reasons why I got the model, the fact that the Model T actually supports more uh, uh, wallets, but it's USB-C. I can't stand micro USB. So, yeah, you don't probably need these two set screws, but I'm just going to use one. But I do actually have the option. I actually uh, designed it for an M3 Allen. And right, there it is. Cord runs back. I'm just actually using my uh, test port here. It's not where I'm going to normally have it connected into, but all right, it just pops out like that. And pops back in. Cool. If you guys want this, it's, uh, it'll be linked down below to my Thingiverse page. Um, if you want to send me a Trezor 1, I'll, I'll make one for a Trezor 1, but I'm not going to go out and buy a Trezor 1. The, the original model. So if you have an original model, I don't know, I can make one for you if you want. But, alright, cool. Had fun.